Hi there, it's Sherry from Twitter Page of Book Paper, and I am very excited to be here today. I am uh, welcoming you to day nine of the Law Land Crafts 14 Days of Christmas. So for my project, I'm going to share with you how I made this fun gift card holder and then this uh, poinsettia. I added a bunch of bling to it and gave it some dimension and I'll show you exactly how I did that. Okay, so uh, some of the things that you're going to need are um, the Winter Bears Clear stamp set and the poinsettia die the mountain's die, and the mountain's die comes with these cute little trees and then these little snow caps for the mountains. You will also need the double stitched hillside border die, the pine cone bow die, the long flags die, the horizontal pocket die, and um, the stitched trees die and then the large stitched tags die. For your paper, I chose uh, the Home for Christmas paper pack and I absolutely love this gorgeous paper pack. It's got these wood panels and these cute little knit patterns and poinsettias and um, I just think that pack is gorgeous. Okay. So uh, I'm going to start out with a five and a half inch by 11 inch piece of craft cardstock, scored at five and a half inches and folded in half. And then for my layer, I am going to uh, use a five and a quarter by five and a quarter inch piece of paper from the uh, Home for Christmas paper pack. And then I'm going to add glue to the back of this panel. And I like to use liquid glue because it gives me some wiggle room, literally. Um, so I'm gonna try to line this up. I cannot line things up right the first time to save my life. And you're going to see why I like liquid glue in just a minute. So I've decided, you know what? I don't like the way that's lining up. I'm gonna start over. <laughs> so I peel it off. And I don't think I would be able to do that with a tape runner or a different type of adhesive. So here I am adding more glue. I'm going to open my card base. And sometimes it's easier when I open the card base. So I'm going to place that on right. Okay, I like the way that looks finally. And now I'm going to start building my card. So I have this tag. And I am going to go ahead and add the gift card holder um, to the back of the tag. And again, I'm going to use liquid adhesive. Um, it takes a little bit longer to dry, of course, but for me, that's the beauty of it, as you plainly seen. And I'm just going to adhere that to the back of the tag. And the reason I've got it kind of sticking up a little bit is so that the gift card will stick out a little bit behind the tag and you won't have to dig for it. It'll be obvious that it's there. Just pressing that down. And then you see those little corners sticking out? Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim those off. Off camera a little bit and I apologize for that. So those are trimmed off. Now I'm going to add some glue to the back of the tag. Check my placement on that, I like it. And then I'm going to adhere that down to the card. And there is this little, um, I am not sure, enforcer, is it called an enforcer? That I'm going to place on the tag and um, but I've decided not to, so I'm gonna leave that off. Um, you can, of course, adhere that if you want. I would suggest you do that first. If you wanted to tie a ribbon there, that would be a really good idea. 
So again, I, I'm happy with that. But let's see, pressing it down. Let's see if my gift card holder fits in there. And it does, but guess what? I need more glue. For some reason, my glue is not cooperating with me very well today. And I'll try this one more time. So that looks right to me. I think I've got it this time. I'm gonna pull the camera out a little bit so you can see all of what I'm doing. Set the gift card aside, and then I'm gonna start building the seam. So I've already cut out my pieces. This is the um, mountains cut out of craft cardstock. And then I already have adhered the um, mountain tops, the snow caps. I used a glitter cardstock for that. So I've got that down. It's about what an inch and a half, two inches from the bottom of the card. And then I will add the hillside, which I have also cut out of glitter. And I'm gonna put that pretty far down on the card. And uh, that looks right to me. There we go. Make sure everything is nice and snug and glued down well. And I like that. Okay, so now I can go ahead and add my little bear. He's ready to go skiing, it looks like. And when I add the glue, I'm going to not add it uh, to the right side because I want to be able to tuck a couple little trees behind him. Pressing that down. And I've already also previously cut these trees. There's one glued down. And then I'm just gonna glue the second tree down. And then we will be able to move on to our poinsettias. Do you say poinsettia or poinsettia? I think it's poinsettia, but I could be wrong. Make sure that's adhered down well. And then I'm gonna set that aside and start working on my poinsettias. So for uh, the poinsettias, I used the foam pad that came with my Misty. You could use a mouse pad if you don't have that. And then uh, I've already cut two poinsettias out of a blue cardstock, pale blue cardstock. And so I'm taking this stylus and I'm just rolling it around on each leaf. And it really gives it a ton of dimension. So I, I love the way this looks when it's done. And you can see the petals are really curling up. Petals or leaves? Well, I think they're leaves. So I'm gonna do this to uh, all of them. And you can see how that really makes it pop. We'll do this one real quick. You can also, if you curl it around on the side of a petal, it really kind of makes it twist a little bit also. Um, so you can really play with how you want these leaves to shape up. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over and press down hard in the center. And I'll do the same thing with the next one. And it is really that easy to give it all of that shape. And now for the fun stuff, um, we're gonna add some bling to the poinsettias. I've used a glitter embossing powder, and then I'm just gonna take my Versamark pad and just lightly touch each little leaf
do the same thing with the smaller one. And then for the pretty stuff. Again, this is just a glitter embossing powder. Um, I picked one that was going to coordinate with my cardstock. Sprinkle it all over there, make a mess. And tap it off the excess. Brush off what you don't need. Do the same thing with a bigger one. And then, because I will make a huge mess if I don't do this, I am going to put that all back in the container that it came from. And then I'm just going to take the heat embossing tool and heat up the embossing powder. And it's really kind of hard to see on camera how glittery they end up. It's really dark here today, so I tried to add as much lighting um, as I could, and it kind of washed out the poinsettias, but um, you'll be able to see better in a minute. Get those all heated up. Sorry for my big hand. And I don't, I don't know about you, but I have to have something blingy on every card I make. So this glitter embossing powder really makes me happy. And then I'm going to just uh, take some glue in the center and pop those two together. And you'll see that I'm going to offset the smaller one so it's not, the petals aren't on top of each other. I'm gonna press that down real good, make sure it's pressed in there and I've got a nice, good um, adherence. And then I get to add a little bit of bling to the center. This is just a little rhinestone. Um, just a little bit more glue. I'm going to use my Pick her upper, my finger, <laughs> and there we go. Press that down one more time. Make sure it's all stuck together real well. And then, oh, you can see the glitter there pretty well. Now I'm going to uh, go ahead and build up the rest of the card. So for placement, I'm going to see if I like that. I'm going to add some of the uh, pine needles that I cut with the pine cone bow die. Um, I cut actually two of them. And you can see that I'm kind of when I play around with it, I'm going to have some off the edge of the card and I don't really mind because with the dimension in this card I figure that this is going to be something that would be hand delivered anyway maybe to a neighbor or you know maybe your UPS driver or the postman um, so I would, I'm not concerned about the the pieces that are hanging off okay I like the way that looks so I'm going to go ahead and start putting things together the sentiment is also from uh, the December release um, and I just cut it using the uh, long flags die. Okay, lots of adhesive back there. Push that down. You also want to make sure you're using a nice strong adhesive because of the dimension of the flowers. You don't want them going anywhere. And then I'm just going to start tucking these pine branches behind the flower. And 
you don't need a lot of glue for this. You just want it kind of tacked on, you know, so it's not going anywhere, but I don't need to add glue to each little branch. All right, also included in the uh, pine cone bow die is uh, a pine cone die. And I think they are so adorable. So I'm gonna add a few of those. And I like to do them in threes. So I'm gonna press that one down, make sure it's adhered. Go on to the next one. Tuck that one behind. And then we're getting pretty close to being finished here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place this last little pine cone and press that down. And then I'll add my gift card into the gift card holder. And that will be everything. So thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you next time. Thank you.